just finished my workout and let's talk about the legacy you leave and window of opportunity. Young lifters or people with ambition in something when they're young, right? There's a fire that youngsters have. That, am that ambition, that unicorn blood that dies, sometimes not with age, but with fatigue, right? Of not getting where you want to be. And I tell you what, you let this flash in the pan slide by, you know, you might be fucking 21 and you're like, hey, I've got the rest of my life to figure that shit out. You're at your fucking physical peak. Your T levels are never going to be as high as they are right now, unless you jump on gear or whatever. But this is where majority of you will be at your fucking best or the best opportunity to get to your fucking best. And you might have a girl in your life now, first girlfriend, and she's like, I don't want to spend time with you, babe. You shouldn't, you know, spend so much time, you know, working on yourself, babe. She's some toxic bitch who drags you down. Trust me, I've been there. Right? But guess what? You probably got that chick because you were driven motherfucker you got your ass into that gym into whatever discipline that you chose to do to your fullest potential and now you've given up you've said my emotions are more important right and guess what that chick is going to fucking leave you six months down the track one year down the track two years down the track and then you're two years behind life goes by fucking quick two fucking years behind and guess what the next up and coming 18, 19, 20 year olds they're gonna fucking lap you and you'll be forgotten forever I'm telling you right now I've seen it you'll be forgotten into the fucking abyss no one will give a shit about you in due time, right? So you either make something of yourself if you haven't already, or you'll be nobody. Literally, nobody. I would say the impact that I've made locally, even on an international scale, is somewhat okay, right? But from those wins, it inspires me to do more. Like, what, what can I do next, right? I'm not asking people to fucking be Michael Jordan, right? I'm asking people to at least fucking try. Like, I don't need everybody to go out there and beat my record doing fucking 350 kilograms deadlifts, right? That's irrelevant. Every time I've stepped into that gym and I've trained with somebody significantly less experienced than me, I treat them no differently and with absolute respect like I would an advanced lifter right if they're putting in 110% that is all anybody can ask for with consistency and people who do that for long enough they walk differently they talk differently think about how this radiates through your entire fucking life right when people interact with you and you are constantly pushing yourself and winning, they can feel that fucking energy off you. Trust me. People that I talk to and I know they're fucking losing, I can feel that, right? And guess what when you're a fucking loser? No one wants to be fucking around you. You know, it gets tiresome when you push people and they're just still in that rut, right? Losers get fucking left behind. Guess what? When you see those winners, guess who they're with? They're fucking with other winners. They 
winning together, right? Strong teams, which are your friends, right? The people around you. They're going to define who you are. Trust me on this. If your friends around you are grinding, you tend to do the same. It's just natural. Men are like that, right? I'm speaking to the boys out there. You are the sum of the five people who are closest to you. Guaranteed. If they're at least not pushing themselves, if they're not winners, I'm sorry to say that your chances of becoming one become slimmer because life is a fucking competition. People are out there searching for winners with winners right they're already with the winners and you are up against these guys in everything that you do you're up against killers people are really willing to take it from you and you're just going to sit back and be fucking arrogant and say oh yeah well you know i might be fucking good enough and that's that's enough i did that thing like two years ago and you know that's cool that's not enough you need to keep on going and frankly like unmotivated people who make up excuses like it's fucking pathetic right if you haven't done anything significant in your life before and you have the arrogance to say that you're unmotivated and you know stick your nose up at people trying to push you you're not gonna fucking make it you're not gonna make it at all this this message isn't for the people who have accomplished things in their lives because they understand what it takes and they can bring themselves back there right but you out there if no one knows who you are and you're not desperate to take it I'm sorry to say, they're gonna forget about you.